So. The, any connection, boxing, rapping, any... Well, the competitive nature of both yeah. of them yeah. is there, and, and they have a strong... It re the music resonates strong with the fighters because of the physical yep. discipline mm -hmm. involved. So the music's playing in the gym, the music's playing in the headsets when they're doing the road work, the music's playing in the car after they're done. So, you know, it, it just makes an easy marriage. That's why Mike Tyson, they were speaking, had Mike Tyson records, and mm -hmm. Floyd Mayweather has mm -hmm. Filthy Rich records, and... Mm -hmm. Roy Jones is his record company, and so many, you know, talented fighters, and with new Adrian Broner. Yeah. Mm. He actually rapping his way to the ring. Now, you, you, you kind of glossed over it. You said <laughs> you, your relationship with Floyd was is... fuzzy. Was fuzzy. Yeah. Thank yeah, you, Carrie, yeah. for, yeah. for, for bringing that yeah. back up. So, uh, <laughs> how would you characterize uh, your relationship with Floyd? You guys have seemingly had some, well, some issues. It's just it's who Floyd is. You know, like, he'll, he'll just flip-flop from time to time, and it's just who he is. Like, his, his father was, like, around me. That he was the house trainer for the actual gym that we had. So Floyd uh, Roger trained him for about 17 years, and then he decided he wanted his father to train him. So Roger was around, and then he decided he wanted Roger back. So okay. Roger's there, and his father's back around. So it's like... The growing pains it's of that just, friendship. If yeah, you're in a friendship with him, yeah, yeah that's and what you Do you, you consider with. yourself still friends with him? Yeah, I mean, well, if you're friends with someone, you got to accept their imperfections, right? Mm. You know, and... Floyd is just one of those people who's just going to flip-flop. And he got a lot going on emotionally. You know, coming from being incarcerated for him, 60 days wouldn't be a lot to someone who's been in an environment that sure. experienced those type of things before. But for him, it was a traumatic experience. And, I, you know, I can't wait to see, you know, how he performs following that. Because okay. he still hasn't Now fought. that you have some distance from Floyd, a little more objectivity, did Floyd duck Manny Pacquiao? Yes, he yes, did thank deck you. the fight. That's a hundred million dollars, and he just left it. Why? I mean, for two reasons. I think he concentrates on how much someone else is getting paid, opposed to how much he's actually getting paid, and he can kind of see himself in a space that no one else sees him in. Like that, he's so high or on top of it that he shouldn't actually give some of the other great fighters the opportunity to be in that position at this point. So and it, it is true he could fight a cab driver and we'd be tuned in to see it. You got that right. You know, now we would. So, yeah. so, okay, but, but I'm sorry. Yeah. Go, going back two years ago when they were more in their primes, Right. how much did Floyd fear Pacquiao? Fear what? losing to him? Yeah, he's not He's not afraid of, yeah, of Pacquiao or, or any fighter. I, I think it's, it's more of um, him saying who, who do I have to fight? Like who, who's at this point, like it, it's more... Uh, him sorting out who's the perfect opponent than him fighting the toughest fighter to fight. You know, I, I think when you go into history books, it's, it's you actually doing it a bit differently. This is more business mm -hmm. and making the, the right financial decisions mm -hmm. and how do you, you know, stretch out how many wins on your actual record. And uh, those fighters that fight the toughest fighters are the actual time or the guys that kind of go around in history. Okay, but two years ago, if they had fought... Who would your money have been on? I, I still would have went with the. Ch I would have went with Floyd. Okay. Would you? You know what I mean? Like, Why? It's because he, he has a gift. You know, it's like you can't take it away from him. Even in the middle of a recession, the messaging points are we have all the money in the world. <laughs> Common sense say this is the wrong messaging. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it, it's, it's, it's been actually planned that he's the villain. Okay. You know, so he's aware that, that people are watching. They can't wait to see him actually lose. And then they leave after they see the fight and say, you know what? Whew, he's amazing. <laughs>